is not gold. But I disagree. And I ask you, what is life without some glitter? I've also heard them say, money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. I beg to differ. I say, the lack of money. Now that will surely make you evil, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but let me ask you this. What is life without money? Eh? I know the answer to that. And I know you know the answer to that. We all know the answer to that question. It is hell. Hell, my people. Hell. And I say no to hell. No to hell. Because I love comfort. I love me some money. And I love paradise. Huh? My business is for the rich, for the creme de la creme of the society. Hmm? They say money can't buy you everything. Well, I disagree. I think it can buy you peace. It can buy you love. It can buy you paradise. And that is why we created this business. Paradise on earth. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> well, now eight years ago, we built this business and our clients do know us. Oh, but we do know them. <laughs> it has been a mutual benefit of love, class and paradise. But because we don't want to make things monotonous, we try to do something new this year by adding four beautiful hands Add them on to the massage department. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the beautiful ladies. My beautiful ladies. Bola. <laughs> Ooh, sugar. Yes, honey. Shake what your mama gave you. Bola Inkiru. <laughs> Tracy. What I call a Trace. Yes, Trace it, honey. Don't break it. And Nadia. Oh, oh, Nadia. What a dream, right? Please give them another round of applause. <laughs> and to induct this ladies into the massage department, I'm sure you noticed when she came in, I give to you the most beautiful, the most decorated, the number one actress this country has ever seen, Naomi Ndidiamaka the Silva. <laughs> Hi, sirs. My name is Kola Teller, and this is Biodu Fanu. We are from Glamour Extra Magazine. Do you have an Ivy? We are members of the press, sir. Do you have an Ivy? We cover glamorous events around the city, and Madame Queen has been our major interest these days. I'm sure she'll be glad if you tell her the boys from Glam X-ray magazine are here. Not today. Keep it moving. Can you listen, listen. I've been nice to you guys. Tell that cabman to move it now. That's not a good sight. I've struggled to keep my calm with you. If I close my eyes and I open it and I see you guys here, I'm going to lose my call. Now leave. Hey, girls. Welcome to the Quindalins, where dreams are made. Now before I go further, stretch forth your hands. You've got beautiful hands, and so should your life be beautiful. Now this may seem odd or strange, but your hands should determine your future and where you want to be in life, either to fail or to succeed be rich or be poor for the rest of your life. Now, I'm going to intimate you to a confession between myself and the Queen. Not a lot of people know about this, not even the press. When I arrived in Lagos seven years ago, my first job was here at the Quindolins. That's right. As a masseuse, and I was the best. 
then I was called Indidi. I didn't have much clothes or swag. I wasn't confident enough to speak in public, but my hands, my hands were the best. Yes, the hands. I was not scared to go down anywhere. But rather than my legs, as the cliche goes, my hands. My hands took me to Alejandro da Silva, a Brazilian businessman who traveled to Nigeria on a business trip. Alejandro came to the Queen and asked for the best hands, and she recommended me in Didi. Now, all he wanted was just a massage, but he got paradise. That he did. <laughs> now, mm. Alejandro wanted more, took me along with him, and we got married. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. My late husband was the first person to call me Naomi. He said I reminded him of Naomi Campbell. My husband also inspired me to become an actress. He said I looked like an actress, talked like a star, and walked like a diva. I started acting by producing my first movie. My late husband was also my executive producer. Today, without sounding hyperbolic, I am the biggest diva in this country. <laughs> Thanks to my hands. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. The hands. Exactly. <laughs> Do you have an invitation, madam? Yes, Macho. Can I see? La do Diablo. Thank you, thank you. And to round it off, let me satisfy your long curiosity to the reason why we do the induction at night. The reason is simple, we love the night. Yes, and without a dark, we we'll never see the stars, yes. Uche, where did they go? Island. Uh, I'm gonna follow you right. Why? Where are you going? I'm trying to get a place. Is it news for us? Not really. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. But you look worried. I'm okay, Uche. Anyway, um, have you submitted your report um, on the three school missing girls? No. Your editor has been complaining particularly. Andrew complained that recently your level of concentration had drastically dropped. What are exactly distracting you, my friend? I haven't been feeling fine. Recently, I haven't. Really? Yeah. Have you seen a doctor? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me drop in. I'll get it back to where I'm going. Oh, come on, we're yet to get to the island. No, don't worry. I'm almost close, yeah? I'll oh, see you in this one. Collins, you have to see a doctor, okay? Thanks for the word, MJ. I'll see you at the office tomorrow. <laughs> Looking for an address? No. I'm actually looking for someone. Where? Here. Here? 
What? You have all heard about the traditional massage. It's also known as the relaxation massage. I understand that Bola came out tops in that. Yes, ma'am. Good, remarkable. And also the second massage, exotic massage. <clears throat> It's not easy to score 92% in a Queen's book. And um, Nadia, mm -hmm. you've done good. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're going down the good book. And then we come to the third type of massage that I'm in charge of. And it is called the erotic massage. <laughs> it's also known as a happy hour around here. I see that you've all heard about it from the way you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me show you. Leila, please stretch out your hands. Thank you. I'll be showing you the different points. The important thing in this, the difference between this and the normal massage is that the masseuse must be able to identify the erogenous zones on the client's body. Now this may differ between... Yes. Tracy is in session right now. She can't see anybody. Tracy, there's a young man outside according to security. He says his name is Collins. You want to see him? No. I thought as much. So back to business. Now, I'll be showing you the original points on the client's body. And this may differ between sexes, you know. We'll start with the women. Excuse me, ma'am. Are we going to have female clients in this department too? A lot. <laughs> You'll soon be meeting them. As a matter of fact, I happen to be one of such women. There's nothing I enjoy like tender, calculated massages from a beautiful woman with Midas touch. I like Inkirio, my type. And if you do well in this session, I promise you extra weekend jobs at my place. I'll spoil you with money. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not looking for Tracy anymore. This is a spa, right? Mm. Okay, I want to do pedicure. I'm a customer. All right? What now? No customer of Queen comes here looking like this. Like how? In ascending order, the original zone on the body of a woman is the lower back. And then you can walk it all, all the way up, up to the nape of the neck. What again? I suppose you roughened him up a bit. Mr. Man, this is the last warning. Leave. Or else? What do you want? It's such a lovely time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alhaji. Thank you. that if you dare touch my face what happened to your face don't freaking tell me bullshit don't just stand there and act like you didn't know that I came to your stupid beauty parlor yesterday and I got refunded I swear on my life Collins no one told me you came I knew you this to you the gods why? Are they crazy? Mm. Although you have your own share of the fault. Mm. 
You should have told me you were coming and I would have explained to you Hello. it's against my work ethics. Hello. Hello. I called your phone several times for the past five days. Five good days. At a point in time, the phone was just ringing, you weren't picking. And at a point, it got switched off. Oh, oh. Tracy. Hi. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I changed my life. And why did you change your life? Because I changed my phone. Tracy, you're not making sense. Look, Collins. Huh? If this is too much for you to comprehend, I don't know how to explain it. I am rebranding my life and everything is just getting better for me. This is the new phone you are now using. Samsung X4. You're using Samsung X4. Tracy, where did you get the money for this type of phone? Why all this question? Because you are my fiancé. I need to know some certain things. I deserve some certain explanation about some things, don't you think? Look, Collins. What? I can't do this tonight. I am tired. Where were you last night, Tracy? Hmm? Where were you? I was here. I stood right in front of this gate till 12 midnight until your oh. security were, they were trying to lock the gate. Where did you sleep, Tracy? Um, I passed the night at the beauty parlor. We worked till late. And who was that that dropped you off? Oh, my colleague from the beauty parlor. So your colleague is now an allergy? Oh, nigga, please. A bed is all I need right now, not some jam questions. You should just call me nigga. Tracy! What is wrong with this girl since? What is all this rapid change? Change is the only thing that is constant. See, I may not have won a lot of seats in the federal house for some time. But here in my state, change. Any candidate that I back must come out victorious. <laughs> Um, it is true that Badagri may not have produced very strong political candidates for over 22 years since Alaji Jakonde. But I tell you, that is about to change once we hit the polls. In fact, Mr. Deputy Governor, that deputy title in your name will change soon. <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, no, 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 don't thank me now. Thank me later. I will discuss with His Royal Highness the King and His Excellency the Governor. But until I tell you that I have conferred with them, you must lie low. Hmm? Remember the 48 laws of power? Yes. Don't outshine your master. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> ah, Ibro. You are back. Uh, what about the flowers? Yeah, yes, sir. Mr. Deputy Governor. Yes, sir. Are you interested in flowers? Flowers? No. Girls. Beautiful girls. Young, beautiful girls. <laughs> no, sir. I'll let that pass. Uh, okay, okay. You are a loyal. I don't envy you. That's okay. Uh, Ibro. Yes, sir. Prepare the ground. Okay. Double portion for me. Oh, <laughs> I think I have to do it, sir. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I will see you at the polo ground. I have good news for you, Tracy. You merge to be the best at your happy hour exam. <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means. It means you have the best erotic hands here at Queen's. <laughs> and that makes you very dear to my heart. 
At least until the next um, exam next year. You may not know what that means, but uh, let me be the first to congratulate you and to welcome you to the world of glitterati. A world of success. The world of more money. More money. More money. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. You're very welcome. <laughs> that means you'll be working very closely with me. You'll be going everywhere with me. But I have a question for you, Tracy. How daring are you? I am prepared to do whatever pleases you, Ma. Let me help you rephrase that, dear. This is going to be like the devil's bargain. You volunteer your person and I'll take over your soul. Are you prepared? Yes, Ma. My girl. My girl. <laughs> My girl. Oh. Oh. She got up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Madam, oh, are you okay? Okay is an understatement. Oh, I've been pleasurized. Oh, if there's any word like that. Oh. 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 Madam, what happened? Are you leaving? Um, just a minute, ma'am. Oh. No matter why is your face all squeezed up? Um, Nidia, please, I need you to help me continue the massage with that client of mine. Why? What went down? The woman is turning my normal Swedish into erotic massage. Uh, client has the right to change their request on the spot. All you need to do is change your charges. And that's more money for Queens. And more commission for you. But you know I'm not into a happy house like you guys. Well, you have to start something someday, Bola. Hmm? No, no, not today, Nidia, please. Especially today. You know why? Because I don't do ugly times. And that woman, she is ugly. She makes me creep. I'll do her. She may be ugly, but she's rich. Never miss that part, girls. That is very important. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. The queen needs your attention, Bola. Why? Have I done something wrong? None that I know of. Bola, why are you always shaking? Nidia, between you and I, I feel spooked. Like something strange is going on around here. Why? Did you see anything out of the norm? I can't really place it, but isn't working in a place like this and getting paid 150,000 Naira weekly strange enough? I mean, aside that, the commissions are frequent. I used to squat with my friends. Now I live in a service block in Lekki in the space of three months. Bola, don't be cheap. Hmm? See, don't be scared to be successful. You are the only one out of all the new girls that's getting least paid and you are alarmed. So, what do you want Tracy to do then? Lydia, I worry for Tracy. Bola, you worry for yourself. See, I've been having some bad dreams lately. Dreams? Dreams aren't real. If you want to tell me something, girl, tell me something real. Hmm? Don't forget the queen needs attention. Oh, that. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, 
Of course you're fine. A dove is always fine. Have a seat. Thank you, Ma. Mm. <laughs> but that's it all. You know, you do remind me of Naomi. She used to be just as timid as you are when she came here. And then I helped her boost her confidence. And there she is now. I can help do the same for you. But you see, a mother can only lift up the child that spreads her arms. Are you willing to spread your arms, Bola? I don't understand, Ma. Mm. Okay. Are you ready to be helped? Mm -mm. Don't nod. Speak. Yes, Ma. There you go. Wasn't that hard, was it? But that's not the way you ask God for help, is it now? I want you to say to me, Queen, please help me like you helped the ones that came before me. Queen, please help me the way you helped those who came before me. And I will, my dear girl. I'm going to help you. Actually, I'm going to make you my special girl. You do some special deliveries for me. Huh? Sounds good? Yes, ma. Good. <laughs> I want you to deliver this special package for me. The name on it is Al Haji Al Yasu. He's a very generous man. So if he takes interest in you, don't be worried. He's a voyeur. He loves to watch. All you have to do is uh, show him some skin and you'll be all right. Um, okay, ma, but what is your address, ma? Oh, no address. Just a phone call. You make a phone call, you meet with him, and, uh, oh, by the way, take a taxi there. And when you get there, dismiss the taxi. When you're ready to leave, call another taxi. Okay, ma. Oh, one more thing. Take a look at that package. Have you taken a good look? Yes, ma. The reason I said that is because there's a golden rule about deliveries here. You never, ever take a second look. The only time you look at that package again is when it's time to deliver it. Is that understood? All right, ma. Good. See Alex. He'll sort you out. Course. Did they get it? <laughs> Let's find a way around it and then we can work on that. You think? Wow. All right. Hi, Hi Kira. How are you? Hi. Call me NK. NK today? Okay, well, that's sexy. I'm talking about sexy. That's what you really are doing. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. That's sweet. Mama, I didn't fight you. What did I do you, babe? You promised me a regular weekend engagement to your crib. It seems you have forgotten. Uh, well, not really. Oh, Tracy is the brain now, right? What, are you jealous? Technically speaking, yes. I love you, Martha. I want to. Massage you. S O C. I like. I like, I like. But I also like to pay. My demands are very high. I can meet your demands and give you extra jewels. I'm better off in private rooms than massage rooms. My tongue works better than my hands. Follow me to the car already, you're getting me walked up. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Go past. Mm. <laughs> Hello, sir. Um, it's me again, sir. I'm in front of the hotel, sir. I can see you. 
Um, okay, sir, but where do I go, sir? Police? Go back where, sir? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Hello, ma. Hello, my team, ma. Yes? Um, 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 the man, um, Alaji, he said I should take the package back. What happened? He said the sports has been compromised, ma. Okay. Um, just go home. Don't go back to work. And the package, ma. Um, keep it with you. I'll call you in the morning and I'll tell you what to do, but um, don't call me again tonight. Okay, ma. All right, ma. Alaji, good evening. Look, Alaji, I just spoke to our informant in the police. My girl wasn't being tailed. No, it was just a false alarm. The van you saw was just there on a routine patrol. I'll call her tonight and I'll make sure she delivers it to you by 6 a.m. No, 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 the coast is clear. Of course it's still going to be fresh, Alaji. Huh? Enjoy. <laughs> Good night, Salaji. Uh -huh.
Hello, Alex. My queen. I think we have a hole in the kennel. Who is that? Bola. Man, mother's wife over infidelity. Look at this. The secondary school boy shooter. Here, we have the boy with the golden gun. And here, the secondary school boy. Now, look at our own metropolitan crime column. What do we have? Nothing. Because I have a dim wit of a reporter. What is happening with your concentration these days? Now, everybody seems to be talking about this crime boy. Except universal newspapers. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, Mr. Hank. Go on, Mr. You're sorry. For how long are you going to be sorry? You used to be brilliant. What happened to you? Now the editor-in-chief is breathing fire down on my neck. The breathing of fire down your neck, Mr. Andrew, starts today. You are fired. Sir, I, I, I can amend all Sir, he, he has no hand in this. He has nothing to do with this. It's, it's, it's me. There's nothing to amend, Mr. Andrew. We are news people. And news are passing us by every day. Every day. Have you been online this morning, Mr. Andrew? Four different crimes were reported at different locations. The boy shooting at secondary school. The suspected arson at Wimmer Bank. And what seems like a bomb went off at Lagos Mr. Markets. And all this happened before Stop Press. And my paper is looking dry. And you say you want to amend. Mr. Andrew, there is nothing to amend. Yes. And for your information, my new reporters are on their way, including the editor. Sir, sir don't do this, sir. Don't. Look, you have 15 minutes to quit this premises. <laughs> Good day. Sir, sir, please don't do this, please. Fifteen minutes, both of you. Sir, we'll work something, I'll work more. Make sure no one goes out and come in of this place. So tell me, how do you happen? Okay, guys, um, what do we have? 
Inspector James, welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. What's the situation? Uh, suicide, sir. Suicide. Uh, John, if you ever get to read this, just know that I have gone for you. It is pointless going on after what you did. John, I gave you all my love, my heart. The air I breathe is all about you. You took my virginity, you took my money, you took my time, you took my love, my loyalty, yet you couldn't find that thing enough to make me your wife. The worst case, John, you are getting married this Saturday 23rd. You kept the date, but not me. John, this is the biggest of all heartbreak. I can't live with it, but be sure my ghost will come back to haunt you and your miserable wife. Hola. Okay, guys. Um, we have a need. We must uh, find this John. It is very important to find this John. I mean, uh, we come everywhere. Boss, so many John are getting my this Saturday. Where do we start from? The state? Or the country as a whole, sir? Gentlemen, we have to come everywhere. I mean everywhere. We need to check open fields, event centers, churches, all the registries, and even mosques. Who knows, maybe our John is getting married to a Basirat this Saturday. I mean, we expand all our sat through local government, states, and the region. And after that, sir? We go national. Then after that? Well, we stop. But we should bear in mind that this John is not a proven criminal yet. You know, we just have to get John. Who knows, he, he, he might have scammed this young, you know, lady. And for that, he found guilty, he could uh, get some years in the cooler. So, let's find this John. It's a great shock. She was always so calm. The queen used to call her doe because she was always looking peaceful. Who could have guessed as peaceful as she seemed? There was a riot going on in her heart. Men, men are wicked. Betrayers. Not all men. I could never have done that to someone who gave me her all. The stupid John even met her a virgin. That's why I dislike me. I can never even allow them to kiss me. Except their pain called cash. Demons. Hey, come on. You don't conjure what you cannot banish. No demons here. Can we keep this strictly to mourning our colleague who is gone? Okay, okay. I believe the mourning is over, okay? Let the dead be dead and the living live. Let's get back to work. Get back to work. Tracy. 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 Collins, I thought you have been told it's against my work ethics what, to have visitors here. What is here. wrong with you? What is going on? I don't get you. I went to your house. They told me you moved out without telling anyone. That you don't live there anymore. I'm still waiting to hear exactly why you are alarmed. Really? Why I am alarmed? So you left your space, your quarters in Surulere to God knows where and you're asking me why I am alarmed. What is going on? Trissy? Really? Hello, my daddy. I thought you died some seven years ago. And hey daddy, this is 2016. You cannot tell a 27 year old lady who fell herself how to live in this Instagram age. Tracy, I, Tracy, I took you away from the hillside and I brought you oh. down here to Lagos. I, I, I rented an apartment for you, I rented the quarters, I paid for it myself so that you can feel comfortable. And above all, you are my fiancé. And I love you, Tracy. I deserve some respect from you. I deserve to know what you're doing. I deserve to know who you talk to every day. I deserve to know where you are. I deserve to know everything about you, Tracy. Well, if you must know, I got tired of sharing bed with some dirty girls at the quarters. Wow. Collins, look at you. 
You are still sharing your apartment with another man. You are 35 years old and earning 35,000 naira monthly basic salary. Maybe when you're 40, you start earning 40,000 naira and you will be able to settle with some kindergarten school teacher. Oh! 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 You know I lost my job because of you. What did it What did happen? What did it happen? Sam, it's okay. What did it happen? It's okay. You want you go follow me fight. Guys, it's okay. Go follow me fight. Sam, it's okay. Don't come near me, oh, this is your belly, I go see it. Here I am now. Tracy! Tracy! Hey, 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 that's the Tracy! Tracy, you need. Tracy! Making me feel like I'm going to the end of the world. It's just Lagos now, Tracy. It's just Lagos. <laughs> Collins, you've been the air I breathe since I lost my parents. You all have got. Why do you want to leave me so soon? Tracy. Not a cry for outside. Why do you do like this now? And who says I'm leaving you? Who says I'm leaving you? I am not leaving you. I'm just going to hustle. I'm just going to Lagos. I'm going to the commercial heart of Nigeria. It's as simple as that now. And you know, as soon as I'm well settled, I'll come back for you, Tracy. Oh, no, 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 Collins, no, no. Look, Collins, with us, we don't need money. We don't need space. We just need the two of us to be together. Don't, don't they cry like this now? Tracy. Tracy. You don't do. You don't do. Now you don't even make me confused now, Seth. I don't even know. Okay, don't worry now. I'm, I'll take you to Lagos. We'll go together. It's tomorrow, okay? Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Tracy, when I say me no feel leave you, say you know. It's all right. Um, I'm really very sorry about the loss of your job. Okay? Just take it easy. Sorry. Sorry. I feel it. <laughs> Sorry. Jay, can you can you do me a favor? What favor? Can I use your car for a few days? For what? No, I just I just want to use it for like three days. I, I'm sorry for any inconvenience. Seat. Thank you, ma'am. So, how did it go with the Chinese guy? Um, not bad. Small pipe, but he knows how to use it. Not very generous with money, but he paid the basic fee. Ah, uh, Chinese people can be sometimes very stingy. Mm. Never mind them. I have something great for you, though. Really? Yes. Chief Barnabas. Um, He's requested for some new excitement in his life. Oops. He's a very wealthy political financier and um, he's our biggest client this year. He contacted me and um, I recommended you. Go give him some excitement. Trust me, Queen. I make them sing ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done with Barnabas, um, 
I have a proposition for you that you will not be able to resist. Really? Yes. What is it? Ah, it's going to be a surprise. Um, I'll tell you within 24 hours. Mm. <laughs> have fun with Chief. <laughs> All right, Queen. Contact, please. Check your phone. Okay. Um. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Queen. Uh -huh. Chase, Chase. Abuja now. Okay. Oh, so you are at the airport. All right. Uh, evening is okay by me. 8 p.m. Very well then.
How the goose bombs! <laughs> What's that? What's that? Hello, Chief. Queen. Look, your girl is weak. She kicked. What? You mean... She kicked the bucket? Mm -hmm. Look, I have my end covered. You tidy up. Will do. And that special advisor slot is still open for you. So, let me have the name of your candidate. I was actually going to surprise that girl with that position. It's such a shame. She was a great asset. She looked too sexy to be a special advisor to this particular governor. Anyway. The person in question is very conservative. Look for another person. <laughs> yes, I did. Twenty thousand dollars? Good. More will come next weekend. Get me a toffee this time. Will do, Chief. You can always count on me. Tracy. Just like that? Send me carry the woman with me and the pay money on top. What you carry this girl come before you? Trust me! Trust me! Go punish! Trust me! 
Mercy. You see how devil they mess person up for this life. Eh? You defend like say I don't go see you. You the dog, but you don't know how they follow you. Tracy! Tracy! Tracy. Tracy! Tracy! Hey! Hey! Tracy! Tracy! Tracy, get up! Hey! Hey! Tracy! Tracy, Tracy! 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 Tracy, what do you do now? What do you do now? This is what happened! Ah, How are you? Queen? I haven't seen Tracy. Where is she? Oh, come on, don't worry about her. She's a big girl. She can handle herself. And she doesn't have to come in here every day. You know she is special. She said she would be at Barnabas yesterday. She did? That was supposed to be very confidential. These girls still haven't learned a trait of this business. Confidential even to me. Oh, come on, Martha. I didn't mean it that way. It's just that we have a lot of girls around here. And uh, come to think of it, have you thought about being a special advisor to the government? I think it will suit you. Queen, you know I like Tracy a lot. It's not like her to be incommunicado for three to four hours. Did something go wrong at Barnabas? Come on, honey. Look, I have often told you, don't get so emotionally attached with these girls. It's gonna get you in trouble one day. Did something go wrong, Queen? Sorry, sir. I I'm sorry to barge in on you, but I have the biggest news of a decade for you, sir. Please, sir. You're not supposed to be here. Sir, I, I understand. I understand. Sir, it it's a screamer. You would love to hear this. This is a top notch news, sir. It's about the business mogul, which is Barnabas Gorilla. What about him? He murdered a girl last night. Her name is Tracy Tinebi. Are you sure about that? I am 100% on this one, sir. Very well. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'm assuring you that I saw everything. Everything to the beat. Everything I took pictures. See? See, sir. That's the girl. Yeah, that's the girl. That's the girl right there. Even the guy, I, I, I held him. I held him down because I, I wanted him to confess to his crime. Yes. But he, he was too fast, he bolted, sir. This is a great news. So much, sir. <laughs> First class. This is it. Raw and uncut, sir. Uh, but, are you sure that that house belongs to Jim Barnabas? Yeah, that's his house. That's his house. That number, that particular number is his house because I have a friend who is in charge of all of these things in, in, in some areas or on that particular link. I, I pushed the call through to him and he said that particular number is Chief Barnabas' house. That is it. <laughs> you are my boy. You are giving me a big news here. Of course, When we release this, man. This is it. When we're talking about crime, as in crime news, this is it. Big news. Thank you, sir. <laughs> But say, man, ah, can I have this phone for 24 hours? No, no, why, why not? I can Bluetooth it to you. Why? why? Oh. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me Bluetooth it. Let me, let me, let me Doing that will take a long process. I need to have this just for 24 hours. I have to do something. No, boy, we, I, <laughs> we are talking about that crime. Yes, sir. This is it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you, yes. And let me tell you, sir, your job is to death for you. You got it! Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate, this is wonderful! Yeah, ah. Man, this chick is a bastard. 
He must have arranged for his boys to come and take her away. She was right here. Where is the body? Sir, she was, she was just right here. Can we open this trunk? Gentlemen. Sir, I'm eh. not lying. Eh. He knows. You're under arrest. Pop him. Excuse me. Excuse me? Excuse, excuse me, sir, for what? For the murder of your girlfriend. Sir! Ah. Mr. Boy, they tell them the truth. I told you this thing. I, I gave you pictures and videos, right? They tell them the truth. Why would they arrest me for what? Collins, sir? I've already told them what you told me. That in fury you kill your girlfriend. Hey? Yes. Mr. Body, your girlfriend wasn't getting chief as you suspected. Mr. Body, why would you tell me this? This is a lie! She was in the house to do massage treatment for chief. Mr. Collins. When we get to our station, you will explain that. Uh, well, I, I told him the truth, sir. I told, why would I do that? In the first place, why would I do that? Collins. And at the same time, I'll, I'll take you down. Okay. Okay. It's yeah. not possible. Collins, cool down. I will get you a good lawyer. I'm telling you, I promise you that. Why do this? Don't worry. It wasn't me. It was Giovanna Pass. It was Giovanna Pass. It wasn't me. I told you about this Don't thing. Don't worry. I promise you that. I'll get you a good lawyer. Yeah, um, but don't worry, Colin. I'll get you a good lawyer. I won't do this and at the same time I'll tell you to come. I'm not going to lawyer. Don't worry. Mr. Bode! Mr. Bode! That is what you need now. Mr. Bode now? Yes! Oh, God. Oh, no. You see why I said I wanted the fact that I'm the major shareholder in your newspaper company to be silent? If not, stories like this will not be credible. I try the best possible to ensure that all the major personnel under my employer, I dissociate myself with them. It's because of stormy days like this. That's very visionary of you, sir. <laughs> Make sure you come to testify against that silly boy on Monday. Of course, sir. That boy. I have series of evidences against him. And in fact, the boy had been on stable staff. The reason I sacked him. Good. Um... You were saying the last time about um, Universal News going online or something like that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, the, uh, you see, the prints are fast done. Because the average youth prefer to read online. Only people of 60 and above now patronize the prints. And I think um, we should um, put our weights more on, uh, online. Okay. I'll work on that, sir. See you in court on Monday. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> this is a very sad one. So pathetic. You were tagged as a psychotic, jealous lover. I mean, one side of the story says that um, you told your ex-girlfriend to a client's place, suspecting that um, the client is her lover. And then you killed her. You dumped her. And then you not dumped the car and the junkyard. Perhaps some ritualist or something took her body or something. I mean, that's one part of the story. The other part of the story also has it that you kidnapped the girl and then killed him and then now tied the murder case wrap around Chief um, Barnabas whom you also suspect to be having an affair with her. The traces of the car you hired is everywhere. The house, the workplace, um, missing or even death place. Thank goodness that they mm. didn't give you my car the set day you wanted it. Is that what you're going to do with the car? 
I mean, you would have just made me an accomplice to this case. Listen, I did not know the girl was going to be murdered. Uche. Oh, you didn't know. And yet you pleaded not guilty at the first hearing of the court today. Yes. Why would I plead guilty for something I did not do? Listen, I, I, I had pictures. I, I, I made a video and I gave it to Mr. Body. <laughs> Mr. Body denied everything you just said. This is my sincere advice to you, my friend. Next Tuesday is the next hearing on this case. I'm sure your lawyers will advise you this. Plead guilty. Plead for leniency. Because the more you prolong this case, the more traumatic it is for you. Listen, you're open against the most powerful set of people in the state. <laughs> It's going to be a tough one, man. Anyway, oh, great. And who's this lady? Oh, she's been waiting to see you. Um, that's um, Nadia. Yes, Nadia is from Queen Darling's place. Hey. I don't want to see anyone from that evil spa. Mm. I'm sorry. You're condemned to see me, sir. Was locked. How, how did you get in? Hello, cousin. Oh, going somewhere? Yeah, I wasn't going to tell him. Oh, come on, Martha. I'm still that crazy, silly girl from Uele Road. Remember? <laughs> and Cemetery Avenue. Do you remember those days? Oh, Martha. What didn't we do? We got into houses. We got into people's shops cars and we did not need keys <laughs> you are a great psychic anything i need you were right there ah! i miss those days don't you and i have never failed to appreciate that what is this about queen what oh that's right there's a reason i'm here silly me so this is about a boat and the boat has a hole in it do you know what that means, Martha? It means the boat will sink. And then when it sinks, it kills every single one in the boat. Ah. I would, you know that I'm someone you can trust. I, I would never tell on you. Of course you'll never tell on me. Of course not. But you know something that I learned? It's about love. And I learned that love is blind. And you know what blind love does, Martha? It makes sisters go against each other. And it makes people do silly things, crazy things they didn't really want to do. You know? I've often told you, Martha, don't get pleasure without paying for it. Now, once you pay for it, that's good business. But you, you got so close to the girls. And you became very vulnerable and weak. And look at you now. Where are you going? Huh? Queen, you got greedy, desperate, careless, dangerous. The heat is, is getting too much. It's just a matter of time before this whole queendom thing caves in on us. Yes, I, I'm planning to leave, but I would never tell on you, Queen, you know. Yeah, you're right. Oh. There's something about the Arabian world. There are three people who deserve to die. The first one is someone who commits murder. The second one, well, someone who, who commits adultery. Do you know who the third one is, Martha? It's a soldier. 
who deserts its own army. We are at war, Martha! Are you going to desert me now? So what do you want to do, Queen? Kill me like you did the rest of them? Kill me like you killed Tracy, Cleo, Bola, Felix? Huh? No. I've killed that many people. I've been a naughty girl. I've been a really bad naughty girl. Of course not. You can't kill me. You're my sister. Oh, we're the same blood. Oh, come on. I don't even have the heart to pull the trigger. I can't do it. But he will. Queen. You kill her? I've killed him. How? How, how did you do it? You forget so easily. I'm still that peachy girl from Edubo. The one who played the games the boys played, the gambling, the football, wrestling. The one tomboy in Benin City. The one who knew the karate. What? What, what are you going to do? What do you think? Freeze! Drop your weapon. Tracy, don't you dare call my name, you miserable bitch! Game over, coin. I am Special Agent Nadimampa from the State Security Service. I have enough evidence to put you away for life. Look, I'm sure, I'm sure, perfectly sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. Look, Trace, speak to her. I'm Look, it doesn't have to go down like this. I can make you girls rich. I can make some arrangements, okay? Look, it doesn't have to be this way. Where is the glass? Chief Goriola Banabas. You're under arrest for the murder of Tracy Tinibier. 